Alrighty folks, today we're going to make a little pineapple chicken. Oh, by the way, welcome to Tony's Hands. Yep, these bad boys are right here. Alright, first, we're going to get the water started because this is cold. Put in your broccoli and your collie. Set these off to the side. We're going to get that started. Woohoo! Make sure you're on the correct burner also. You don't want to screw things up. Later, you're going to need these tools. Okay? What's really cool about this one in particular is it has the different measurements in case you're trying to do the math and go, what the heck is this? Well, there you go. Kind of a cheat sheet. Pretty handy to have. Alright, so I'm going to set these off to the side here. One's for the veggies and one's for raw meat. This will be to, to remove the cooked meat. This is to cut up the chicken. We'll start by putting mushrooms in there. Set the asparagus off to the side, putting in half a cup of water. Setting that aside, bringing this down. Dash of butter. And because they were out of real pineapple, or fresh pineapple at the store, holy cow. Ah, here we go. There's an alley. I had to pick up the stuff in a jar. I'm like, madness, but hey, here we are. All right, can't wait. These are gonna be pretty awesome, man. We want to break them up a little. This there it is. Pineapple is pretty awesome. You know, it's good for you. Consult your doctor if you have medical issues on your sugar levels. I'm going to add four of these. So I just love pineapple that much. Oh yeah, good stuff. That's pretty awesome. We're gonna do a quick rinse on the hands. Now I haven't touched any raw meat yet, so it's okay to do a quick rinse. Very important. Very important. So I'm gonna set that here. Turn this bad boy on right front. Being dyslexic, you always gotta make sure there's form, there's reason. It's a dyslexic thing. Figure it out if you gotta. Alright, so we're gonna open this up. Now always check your expiration dates and do the smell test. If it smells like death, don't eat it. Mmm, smells like fresh chicken, not like death. That's pretty important. Set that down, get rid of the garbage here. Alright. Now I'm a big fan of using scissors versus a knife. On a cutting table, uh, number one is scissors. Um, pretty, pretty handy. Easy to cut your strips or chunks, which we're going to do. Again, watch your digits. Um, if you need safety scissors, talk to your kindergarten child and whatnot. And I'm sure they got a pair laying around, but make sure you clean and purify them before you use them for any food. Okay, safety first. All right, yeah, it still smells good. Always got to check, man. No matter what company you get it from, you know, you trust everyone, that's great. But trust your nose, or your gut will tell you later, and your body will tell you violently, what have you done to me? So always make sure you're cooking with good food. And for the love of your greater God or whomever, make sure you cook your food thoroughly. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. Now I'm just going to do it in chunks, so I'm going to grab them two at a time, cut them up. Ooh, almost got my finger there. This is why I say, you know, take your time. That could have been really bad, but it wasn't. You're saying you're putting raw meat next to your veggies. Yes, yes I am. 
but I'm also going to use that raw veggies and cook them later right next to this chicken and then we'll get up to temp so it'll purify and you don't have to worry about temperature differences and possibly getting sick but look at that that's looking really good barely hear it but it's a good pan smells great this is all diced up real nice I'm gonna put these away now these are really cool scissors really handy especially if you're cutting meat you want to be able to take them apart you don't want that gunk in between there and I've already done bad because I forgot to shut this and put a fresh lid on it before I test the raw meat so that's my bad so I'm gonna wash the hands again real quick and I'll be right back Again, the reason I, I leave that in because I want to show you how quick it is to be able to wash your hands. Very important, especially after you've already handled the raw meat. All right. So now my hands are relatively dry. I'm going to stir with my Halloween decoration one. Set that there for the moment. This is cooking really good. I'm going to add the black pepper. Just because when you strain it out, that black pepper will cling to every piece of veggie in there. And that, that's pretty awesome because again, big fan of the black pepper. All right, so I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I'm gonna use this one. Put this off to the side. And actually, hang on a minute. Check this out. I'm gonna put this in the fridge because refrigerate after opening. All right, bonus, woo -hoo. Oh, that's looking so, so good. But I'm gonna keep a little opening off to the side. I'm gonna make this one my raw meat one. Now you can see it, and none of the asparagus touched the raw meat. So I'm gonna be able to drop that in. Get in there. Well, since this one's for raw meat, it's okay. Now we're going to stir this. Uh, looks like it's going to be so, so good already. I can't wait. Now, I'm so glad, well, I'm not really glad the wife doesn't like mushrooms, but it means more for me. Ooh. Now we're going to turn this down to a medium high or medium because you want that to kind of slow cook. Again, add your black pepper. But again, you know, add any spices you really want. Whatever you think you need to add, don't be afraid to because every recipe you can customize. I mean, that's why they made spices. Whoop, a little too much on that, but oh well. Oh, by the way, that was chai. That was chai. The other one was the multi-colored black pepper. Really good stuff. Look it up if you want to know, what the heck is that? Well, you'll know. Now this is a Maui style, which is a wing rub, but we're gonna do a little bit on the chicken here. Not a lot. Less than a tablespoon or a teaspoon. I didn't learn my terminology yet. But this is really, really good. Good on chicken fingers, wings, this amazing, amazing stuff. All right, so that should be it with the spices. Actually, I may add a dash of garlic, but I'll do it after on my own, just in case garlic clashes with everything, and I don't want to ruin a whole meal by finding out. So again, this is part of that, uh, well, actually, no, this is the new, new chicken, because that one chicken recipe I wanted to show you, uh, the tilt turned on the GoPro and made a, a really bad video, so I didn't get to show you my sweet honey mustard whole seed honey mustard uh, recipe for the chicken because that just turned out amazing so actually, I'm going to turn this back up to medium high keep that there put the lid back on for a little bit you can see the raw veggies are still going I'm using this for that but before I overcook them I'm going to turn that down 
Leave that there so in case it boil over. And let this cook and simmer for about five minutes. Before in my one of my other recipes I said three minutes. And I was back in two. I'm gonna say about three to five minutes. Every recipe is a little flexible. You gotta always pay attention while you're cooking. And don't be afraid to stir this in between because that's pretty important too. But look at that. It's turning a nice, nice mellow yellow. And oh, that's just gonna taste so good. Now before it's done though, um, we're gonna put in the asparagus off to the side, but I just want this to cook a little bit more, okay? Excuse my purple drippings. I just dyed my hair. My wife and I just dyed my hair yesterday. So I'm leaking a little bit of purple. But this is this is okay. Alright folks, back in two minutes. Alrighty folks, this is looking amazing. The whole house smells like wow. Holy smokes. Now remember I just added half a cup of water. And add these off to the side. I would have had more, but man, check the quality of your vegetables. These are the only ones out of the, the pound bag that I had. They were any good and I'm very disappointed with that and I will let them excuse me. I'm very disappointed with them and I will let them know. So I'm gonna put this nasty plate away. And with this dirty thing and this way also. Hands are clean and about to be dry. I'll put this lid back on for a few minutes. Help soften up that uh, asparagus. Now, if you have rice or some kind of noodle, it would be really good to use with this. If you have a sprouted rice and quinoa blend, this is really good. I didn't think forward to make this, uh, so next time I'll probably add this to the mix because it helps soak up the meat and the veggies and fruit. But yeah, this is just coming along so good. And this, again, under 20 minutes, this whole process should take you. Having the scissors uh, lets you dice everything up real nice, so everything here should be super tender. It's a medium, medium-high mix for the chicken. The veggies are just simmering right now. Actually, I just already shut off the heat, but since they're frozen, they're just tenderizing. Especially if you have dental issues like I do, it's really nice to have the soft cauliflower and soft broccoli. I miss the days when I had the better teeth because I miss chewing peanuts and crunchy peanut butter. Fresh celery, fresh carrots, green beans, you know, everything fresh. But, so be it. I'll put a few of these veggies away while I'm sitting here, or excuse me, spices away while I'm standing here, cooking. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Since it is fully cooked, I can use my one that I was using for the veggies here, so I'm not cross-contaminating my uh, my chicken and my veggies. Pretty important, especially since they lowered the temperature also for your pork products. So check that out. If you don't know your temperatures on your meats, I highly recommend checking out the full cook temperatures for any meat or poultry that you do use. And I have to say them separate because you just might not know meat is poultry. They're kind of the same thing as all meat. Even veggies are meat. Meat to the plant. So this is how my brain works anyway. Oh man, that's just oh, smelling so good. And I might pull that out and boil that down and make a little glaze for this because the sugar should coagulate a little bit. Once I bring it to a boil. Yep, just staring at it. Oh, this looks so, so good. 
Yeah, let me grab that big bowl. And I will do that. Put all this in here. Except for the greens. But it's okay to get all the sauce in there because you can pour it back in the pan. Remember that. Oh man, that's gonna be so so good. All right, just look at that. Mmm. This is so, so tasty. Again, wiping that up real quick. Moving this up, tossing it off to the side. I might not even use this, so keep that off to the side. If you don't use it, that's one less dish you gotta clean. Remember that. I'm gonna turn that up a little higher. It might just end up boiling down to nothing, so I apologize for that in advance. I'm not used to making the sauces or boiling it down. I know sometimes they add the cornstarch to thicken it up, but for some reason my body says, no, don't you eat that cornstarch. No, no. Kind of like the Frank Zappa song, don't eat that yellow snow. Well, for me, don't eat that cornstarch. So, no copyright infringement meant anywhere. Don't DMCA me, bro. All right. So we'll keep that boiling down for a minute just to show you how hopefully it's made. But either way, we're steaming these up real nice. Oh, it just looks so so yummy. I can't wait. I'm probably gonna eat like one or two bites of chicken. It'll be mostly pineapple and the mushrooms because I'm a big mushroom fan and pineapple fan. Mm. And I love the ASMR sound of just the boiling pan when I work in the kitchen. That was back in the day. Looking so so good. I'll just go for about 60 more seconds. Let it sit for another 60 seconds. So that's just gonna be pretty pretty awesome. Back in 60 seconds. Actually, I'm just gonna shut off the heat right now. And let the heat in the pan finish the job. But in that process, I'll be back in 60 seconds. Now remember, keep stirring this. I said, no, I'm not even going to have that time to walk away. It's, it's reached that caramelized stage. So this is where if you pay attention to your cooking, it'll, it'll be amazing. Wow, look at that beautiful brown. Oh, man. I'd take that right off the heat, but look at that. I'm going to bring it a little closer. Just, wow. Oh, that's gonna be so, so good. Move over. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Holy cow, look at that. That would have been so awesome to put over your veggies, but oh well. I'll plan ahead better next time. But this pan, or this burner is still scorching hot, so I'm gonna put the veggies on it. Put the pan on the burner that's already been out for a very long time. Normally it wouldn't leave 
a, a pan on a hot burner but that's already been cooled down for a very long time so i was planning ahead on that one now i haven't used the fork yet that i'm aware of so just in case i did i'm gonna grab a new one better a little ocd on the raw veggies or whatnot because you know food poisoning for no one that's a good motto remember that everything thoroughly cooked but wow this can be amazing these veggies and everything all right folks i'll be right back i'm gonna do a nice setup for my wife and i and back in a minute maybe two all righty folks now because that is sugar in the pan and that is like really gonna stick you want to add a half a cup of water in the bottom of the pan just to stir around so it just makes the pan easier to deal with and since I hit record by accident, that was just really quick and on the fly. So I'm going to get rid of that. Put this on here so any steam will make the lid easier to clean. And I think it's okay to put this in the sink. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Be right back. Alright. Made it in the sink. Make sure you have yourself a big spoon. So you can drain off your veggies. And I'll be back again with the setting. Alrighty, folks. Since it's way past 8 o'clock, or even actually 7 p.m., way past my normal eat time, I decided to go with the smaller dishes. Because, you know, got to keep my manly figure. So, actually, I've lost 60 pounds in about a year. Holy smokes, the GoPro overheated and has massive issues apparently. But anywho, new battery, hopefully no overheating. Gave the wife her meal, put a bunch of veggies in her thing, bunch of stuff, she's good to go, she is golden. Don't want to eat a lot because it's after 7 o'clock here in New York. So, portion size. Grabbing the goodness I cooked down. You see that dark? Mmm, that's really good stuff. You need a lot of the mushrooms, like you saw in the bowl here. The mushrooms I gave my wife by accident, heaven forbid. She eats a healthy mushroom. Love my wife though. But, sorry for the clangity clang, but it'd just be so awesome. This gonna be so good. Look at that. This pure awesomeness, very, very, very healthy. I highly recommend making this if you can. It takes less than half an hour, very little prep time, and so worth it. Again, because it's your meal, you can change it any way you want. All right? Take care. Enjoy. Bless. Like, share, subscribe. Got to get used to that. Like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right. Take care. All right. Now, my inner OCD is a cook and a cleaner. I want to make sure I put all the veggies away before and do dishes better no that's on the bottom yay all right but again do dishes better so put these away real quick let them cool down now before put them in the fridge at night now this is way later than i normally want to eat but it took me a while to get the video set up get everything in place you know all that good stuff and set that there let that cool down got another bowl just for this yeah, now I'm really realizing I probably could have used a smaller bowl, but oh well. But look at all that yummy goodness in there. Mmm. Can't, can't wait to eat that later on tomorrow. But look at that. Got a full meal for each of us here tomorrow. So they're really awesome and leftovers. And I'll be even sweeter. So check it out. Let this cool down. And if you like the recipe, let us know. Leave a comment below. All right. Take care. Peace and love, man. All right. I'll tell you, I'm pretty stuffed right now, but I'm going to take a couple more bites of this chicken and mushrooms and probably three pieces of pineapple because this, wow, that is so amazingly good. But just letting you know that it's an amazing meal. Really, really happy how it turned out. Just the right amount of spices, wasn't too sweet, wasn't too salty, just amazing. So the addition of the chives and the black pepper was just a perfect, 
two thumbs up to that, all right? Or, hey, like Fonzie would say. So I highly recommend that. But this, definitely, this is cool down a little, so not to put in the fridge. So we'll get that in there. That, I don't even want to close because I know I'm going to be shoving that in my face as fast as I can as soon as I hit stop on this video. So enjoy the meal. Leave a comment below, like I said. Please enjoy. Take care, man. Woman, child, miscellaneous other, whomever chooses to make this meal.